Hello everyone, it's Dee. I hope you guys are doing well. I have a jewelry haul for you guys. This is going to be from an estate sale that I went to a few weeks ago and also from a local um, thrift shop that we have. And um, I found some really nice pieces and I have learned that they usually put out their jewelry on Friday at the um, thrift store that's close to me. So I'm going to be trying to make a conscious effort if I have the time and I'm in the area to pop in at this thrift store. Um, so I think I'll go ahead and start with that. So I have the bag next to me and I'm going to just randomly pull out things. And the first thing I have is some earrings. I really like this um, hammered look that it has and I, th I think I plan on keeping this so I was excited to find this. They usually have um, a selection of sterling. It's mostly costume jewelry but they do get sterling once in a while so they had some um, when I was there this Friday. There was this um, turquoise bracelet. Um, they were telling me that there was an ex-staff member that um, makes turquoise jewelry, so she brings in um, stuff that she makes. So I, I don't know if this is something that she made, but I did see some of the pe other pieces that she had made. Um, they were beautiful pieces, but they were like chunkier turquoise pieces, and I'm more like of a simple <laughs> jewelry person. So um, I didn't get any of those pieces, but I thought, the brace bracelet was neat. There's this like dainty um, gold necklace, kind of like choker style. Um, it's really simple. I figured I could wear it for many occasions. Um, and you know, it's just like, it's definitely something I can throw on every day if I wanted to. So that's why I picked that one up. This is most likely to resell. It is one of these vintage rhinestone pieces. And they seem to have these pretty often at that thrift store. So I am gonna keep my eye out. So isn't this piece gorgeous? Um, I don't think I've seen this shape or design before. So I was excited to find that. Um, it has one of these attachments. I don't know what that's called. I don't think there is a marking. So we have that piece. There's another dainty piece here. I think I did try this on at the store and I like the way it looked. It's just like a very simple design as well. This has to be my favorite find at um, for this trip. Um, is this like dangle? I believe it is turquoise um, earrings, and they are sterling as well. So I was very excited to find this. I really like blue, and um, these earrings really caught my eye. So it kind of reminded me of like clouds and a raindrop. Kind of. Do you guys see that? So we have that. And the last uh, jewelry type item at this thrift store was um, this bag of rhinestones. And I think they're all, um, they all have it. I all have the stone in it. I don't think any anything is missing, but I thought for $3, the whole bag was a good deal that I can um, use for all the different crafts. So before I move on to the estate sale stuff, I found a couple more pieces that I picked up at that thrift store. These are some really long <laughs> and large earrings that I found. It's definitely going to be to resell. Um, they're still new in the package. Um, I They kind of remind me of like, um, that movie Great Gatsby. I don't know why, but that's what I thought about when I saw this, so. We have that, and then this is a um, Carol Lee necklace, 
and I do believe there is a marking here. I'm not sure if I can focus it enough. Let's see. Right there. I hope you guys can see that. And then we have this piece here. Um, I'm not sure if that's like an opal or what. Um, but yeah, a really neat pendant necklace set. Okay, I pulled out a couple pieces from the bag to show you guys. So the first piece we have is this, um, what is this, a brooch. You would put the chain through here. And I'm not very good with identifying stones. So if you guys know what this is, let me know. I want to say agate. Um, but either way, it's a it's a beautiful stone. I really um, I really like the stone here. Um, the the um, finish that it's in, not so much. Maybe just this part. But I think you could you know take that off if you want to. You just have to bend this part out. Um, but yeah, so we have that piece. And then we have this adorable bow ring here. I don't know if this is 925 or not. Um, it looks tarnished, so it might be sterling. I don't see a marking, but either way, it's cute. It needs um, a little polish. We have this very scary black cat brooch here. Has a um, matte finish. We have a Christmas tree with some jeweled ornaments. Oh, I just noticed one of the jewels is missing. I'll have to see if it's in the bag so I can glue it back. Um, either way, I got this to decorate that jeweled Christmas tree that I've been working on for, you know, years and years. So um, we have this uh, bangle here. Um, some nice rhinestones on it. It is a, a little bit large. So we have that. We have this dainty necklace here. Don't think it has a marking. Nope. No marking on that one. There was this very interesting beetle brooch. I think it's a beetle. Um, it has this piece and then it's glued onto this metal um, piece here if you guys can see the back so very interesting all right we have the next um, lot of jewelry the first thing we have is this beautiful um, I don't know cherry tree maybe um, or apple tree type brooch and it is just gorgeous it is super shiny and in such good condition so we have that and then we have santa with um, a swirly beard i don't think any of these had markings oh i take that back it's a jj piece so this one has a marking i don't think this one does let me double check nope and then we have a ballerina pin brooch we have a earring and necklace set and this one is a tiny locket let me see if i can get it open there we go you can attach a tiny picture and this is marked it is that brand 1928 i believe that this is a newer company that has a older um, style of jewelry. We have this butterfly here. This one does have a marking too. What does it say? Monet. We have this piece here. Now is this turquoise? I don't know. It has these golds in it so probably not. Still very cool. It does have a marking. Let's see if we can read it. Oh, it's Sarah Coventry. That's the brand. And the last one for this lot is um, this ring here. It is a costume piece, but um, 
still really neat. Um, the jewelry at the estate sale, they were individually priced, but because I got a ton of them, they just gave me one lump price, which I was very glad about because I don't think I would have been able to get it all if they were gonna individually price. So, all right, I'm gonna pull out the next lot. All right, we have the next lot here. The first thing is like a safety pin type um, pin brooch in gold. And then we have this pretty Christmas tree brooch. It does have the top missing, so I'll have to look in my stash. Oh, actually it has quite a few missing pieces. So I'll have to look in my stash and see if I can find something to fix that. We have another butterfly brooch. Um, this one is Monet as well. We have this pin here. I'm not sure if that's, that sounds like plastic actually. So maybe not a stone. We have this, um, I think these are made out of spoons. Um, they just like bend them into a ring and then you would wear it as such. So interesting piece. Um, this is a clip-on earring. I do think the, uh, the other one is in there somewhere. We have that. We have a butterfly floral brooch. I don't think it has a marking. I don't see one. This is a beautiful necklace. It kind of reminds me of that 1928 brand. Let's see. It doesn't have that tag. They usually have a tag that says 1928. This one does not. But it kind of has that look. These are the biggest rhinestone clip on earrings I've seen, I think. Um, these are quite <laughs> something. So um, I don't know, do people still wear these big pieces like this? Not sure. It is missing a stone, so I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to sell it. I may have to just craft with it, but either way, there's, you know, lots of rhinestones here. We have this piece here that is a brooch. And then this kind of unique looking ring here, it kind of reminds me of grapes, like a bunch of grapes. <laughs> Does need a polishing, so we have that. Okay, this is the last of the jewelry. Here we have a horn, no marking. And this is an adorable blue cat that's unfortunately missing the stones on the ears, as you can see, but still very cute. Oh, it does have a marking. Let's see. I don't know what that says. Can you guys read that? Hmm. I'll have to look that up. I'm not sure what that says. There's just, um, dainty little um, necklace here that has a tiny stone at the end. Unmarked, we have a little turtle here. The other clip-on flower earring. This brooch that has this opening here that you can actually add another charm. So I thought that was neat. This very tarnished butterfly. Oh, this one does have a marking. Um, it says 925, Mexico. Cool. Another Christmas tree brooch. And this piece of jewel, um, it's actually plastic, but I picked it up to craft with. Um, so that's the end of the jewelry. I did pick up some other non-jewelry items that I think that you guys might want to see. So I'm gonna pull that out next. Okay, here is the lot of things. 
this is a, I believe a dollhouse piece. Yeah, it says Dollhouses Unlimited and it's just one of these columns. It's still new in the package. We have this beautiful ballerina. Um, she needs a cleaning, but um, I thought she might be good for a, a ballet themed um, assemblage possibly. So that's why I picked her up. This was an adorable um, topiary that I found. Um, I'm thinking of doing an Alice in Wonderland themed box as well. So I thought that that might fit nicely in there. So we have that. There's a set of these playing cards, 69 cents. Um, they are just regular playing cards. Let me see if I can pull one out, but I thought that the small size would be good for the um, Alice in Wonderland theme. We have a tiny um, revolver here. Let's see. It says Frontier Ranger 992, I think is what it says. We have one of these little brushes. This is um, just an opener. Thought that might be useful. A tiny toolbox with some tiny tools. It has a string, so I'm guessing they used it as an ornament, possibly. Oh, it is a Midwest piece. A jar of um, glitter, and it is a glass jar, and it says glow in the dark. So I'm interested to try to see if it's actually glow in the dark. I thought usually glow in the dark had like that green tint to it. I wonder if maybe this is just old. So maybe it won't be glow in the dark. We'll see. Um, there was this stand here that was kind of intriguing. Has these tassels on the side and there were actually two more. So I got a total of three of these. Um, let me see. I think that was it. Oh, actually there was two more things. So one of these um, doll stands in the shape of a heart, it says made in USA. You would prop the feet in here and the doll would stand up. So just the base and then the Spanish book, look and learn Spanish. Um, the illustrations in here were kind of fun. And um, you know, I like collecting old books. So that's why I picked this one up. So that is it guys. Let me know down below um, what you guys liked. Um, if you liked any particular piece, I will be listing some of these pieces and some of them will be going in the crafting stash. Probably stuff that's missing rhinestones will be probably going in the crafting stash. Um, so um, give me a thumbs up if you like this video and don't forget to subscribe before you leave and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.